Hello Tubers! Welcome to today's video. It is slightly underprepared. We've got a, another unboxing video as you know from the title, the Slash Fox Edition. We haven't got the onboard audio because <laughs> it sounds gash. But anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with all the nonsense details of oh this plastic grade uh, Look, let's just have a look at the goodies and tell you what I think. Now, as you know, I don't want to come across as a Traxxas fanboy. Because I'm not. I'll play with most RC cars. It's just that I happen to own a lot of Traxxas. These are okay. These are adequate for the job. I don't particularly like their controllers. I think they feel cheap. They look cheap. They work, though. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Now... This uh, is a uh, link enabled. I think, to be honest with you, you've probably still got to buy the chip to go inside it. But anyway, doesn't come with batteries. That's four double A's. It's popper safe. I, I, I think actually, and I'm going to do a video later on down the road about this. I think um, you can have one controller and bind them to all the receivers. I see you can have, I think it was something like 60 cars or something like that. So I could keep this brand new in the box, forget about it. And when I break one, which inevitably will happen, I'll always have a backup. But I need to read more into that. Right, so out of the box straight away is that. Then we got these, the old manual. I said in another unboxing video very recently, about the Allen keys that Traxxas now supplies, or appears to, to supply. Of course, on cue, there isn't one. I know where they are, I'm not gonna go and get them, but it's a T-shaped Allen key, rather than the ones that they seem to come with now, which are these crappy L-shaped ones, which I can show you. So I won't open the manual up unnecessarily, just for the unboxing video. They come with these. I don't particularly like them. I like the Traxxas Posh ones they do. Sorry about the rain if you can hear. Ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding. Um, right, so in here we've got the optional uh, pinion gear to make it faster. Because um, it might say it does 60 out of the box, but I don't think it does until you swap that. You've got the suspension spacers. You've got some um, battery foams, in case you don't run their own batteries, they thought of everything. They've got some body savers, always worth buying. They don't come with it. Again, your traditional manual. Oh, look at this, we do super duper batteries. You know, that, that sort of catalogy type thing that comes with it. Um, the sticker kit and the tool kit. As we were talking about the Allen keys. Uh, I don't think this comes with anything else. Let's pop it down there. Right. This has been out of the box, but oh, it does sound nice. Right, let's just pop that down there for two seconds. Anything else in the box? Nope. Right. That's the way out, as you can see. The box. Beautiful. Ignore the price tag, I didn't pay that. I didn't pay a great deal cheaper, but I didn't pay that. Right. <coughs> oh, she's a stomach. Look at that, tubers. Everyone in the model shop has all said that is the best looking body shell they do. Beautiful bounce test as ever. All right, let's get the body off. Keep the R clips safe. What's your favourite body shell? Let me know in the comments below. Would you have brought the Fox? I had to buy the Fox, not just because, I don't necessarily think it's the best looking body shell out of the Slash range, but I brought it because of when I was a young girl, I used to have Fox shocks and things like that. You know, Fox has played a part in my life previously and I kind of felt a bond to it. Let's chuck that to one side. He says chuck and he's putting it down as careful as anything. Right, as you can see, it genuinely is new. I've not used it yet. 
Um, it's got the VLX uh, 3S speed controller. It's got, um, can you see on this, the waterproof 2075 Traxxas servo. The suspension feels a little bit soft on the, but let's get the camera and turn you around and we'll talk you through it a bit more. Right then, as we were saying, it comes with the VLX uh, 3S speed controller. I don't know too much about these motors. I will cheat and look in a second. It's got a waterproof uh, receiver box housing. Um, it's got the 2075 waterproof uh, servo, which is worth having. I mean, I need to upgrade the T-Max at some point with a waterproof servo because I'm forever taking it out in the damp conditions and knackering them. I'll show you the bump test. What I call it. Right. Beautiful pucker. Um, suspension's quite nice on this. It does feel, see they, these sort of things always feel cheap to me. I wish they, you know, for the money, you pay 400 pounds just for this and receive uh, uh, the transmitter, but you always feel a couple of bits should be better quality out of the box, but they never are. See, it's four wheel drive, this model. Uh, they do do a smaller one, 1 16th scale, rear wheel drive only, I believe. Now, it's a Traxxas Villenon, I think you pronounce it maybe. This, like, um, well, I say like, so let's just flip it around again. This, like uh, majority of the Traxxas now, I believe, if not all of the electric powered ones, have these fancy um, speed controllers where you can do regular mode, I'm going to call it racing mode, which is forwards and brake only, because some clubs disallow the use of reverse. And you have training mode, which gives you 50% of the power. Now, my little boy, I've just brought him a Traxxas Stampede. You may have seen the video. I haven't, at this moment, done a review video of it yet, but I've left him using it in 50% um, training mode. And I tell you what, it's plenty quick enough for a kid. You know, so that is a fantastic idea they have come out with. Right, let's flip this back round again. All right, show you again look. the underside. I love the Traxxas logos on it, where they're formed. The tyres, what are my impression of the tyres? They're okay. I, I wish Traxxas did bead lockers. I think that would be fantastic. Because I'll tell you what, I don't know much about the bead lockers. I'm still fairly new again back into the spot. I mean, I cut my teeth on Koshio's and Traxxas when I was about 16, 17. So that was nearly half a lifetime ago for me. But um, back then we have to glue them on and like Traxxas appear to still do it. And I presume the idea of bead lockers is that it does away with that. And that ain't a bad thing because no one likes to clean up the bloody rims when you've got to replace knackered tyres. So anyway, let's take a look at my battery option. Right. I was going to go overloaders, um, but when I went back to TJD, there are a good bunch of guys in there. Um, Chris in there actually said to me, well, actually, you've got the Easy Peak, the decent charger. These things have got ID chips in them now, so they're foolproof. I you can see it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's a nice angle. There's an ID chip in there, so the charger automatically knows whether it's uh, LiPo or Nickel Hydrate or whatever that's pronounced. Um, so, yeah, I was going to go for the overload, but then, like he said, he sold me it back with this. So, this has got 300 less milliamps than the uh, overloader, but I'm never going to mischarge it. I'm never going to charge it incorrectly, which is good, and that is a safe aspect. And what with having a 10-year-old that likes to get involved, and I'm pleased he does, that means that he can come out here anytime he wants, plug the batteries into charge for his stampede, and I'm always going to have a workshop left. So... That's a good thing. And I believe that should do it. It's with the nickel height, my heart, blah, 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 whatever those other batteries are pronounced, the old style, the six cells, seven cells, you know. 
what we used to use in the old days. So anyway, yes, I've got that. All right, the battery's now plumbed in. I'm going to fully unwrap it, but I'm just going to show you how the speed controller works to my knowledge. So obviously we turn it on. Automatically, it knows it's in LiPo mode. I say automatically, no, that's the wrong word. Um, this may have already been previously set in... Um, is that a little loose wire? Oh, I wonder what that is. Huh. I'll have to ask about that. Or oh, I should look in the set in the books. Here we go, automatically. It's saying that there's no receiver, transmitter, whatever. But anyway, let's turn that off. Let's talk you through how you set the modes. So we turn it on once and hold your finger. And it goes red, it'll flash red once, flash red twice, it flash red three times. Right, now I've just put that in trainer mode and that was a bit daft. Hold your finger down. Let go, now it's flashed red once. That's in normal mode, so it'll go forward and it will go backwards. Um, flash twice would be race mode, so that means no break, uh, no reverse, just break and throttle. And trainer mode gives you 50% power. Anyway, I say it's a great bit of kit. I'm running 3S or free cell battery on this 3S model, and I can't wait to get it going. Right then, I've just put the body, we'll put it back on for the last couple of seconds. Now, there will be a review, there will be some videos of this model coming up very shortly. I am excited to own it, however, I'm very busy at the moment. I want to do a little bit of justice, so I'm going to take the X-Max out this afternoon. So tomorrow's video, or the next video after this, won't necessarily be the Fox... Um, the Slash uh, review or some footage. It may be the Stampede or the X-Max or even the T-Max. I might take that out this afternoon. But I want to spend a little bit more time with this. I like to run these uh, for a little while before you start giving them full pelt. Just sort of grease beds in and everything. And, you know, so everything's lovely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave us some likes. And leave us in the comments below what you think... Uh, the best looking model is of the Slash. I personally do like this a lot. Whether it's the best, I don't know, but like I say, I was drawn to it because of the Fox. Anyway, you can sub here or here, and you can watch the next bit of content here or here. I don't know which way round it'll be. Teabag!